Well, art and folklore combined to make a fun scavenger hunt in the Brainerd Lakes area. Businesses and city chambers across the Brainerd Lakes area have unique statues of Babe the Blue Ox. And as our Scott Sheehan tells us, what started out as a publicity idea has become a showcase for the area's local artists. For over seven years, Babe the Blue Ox has been leading the Brainerd Lakes area on an art scavenger hunt. I started with the Snoopies in St. Paul, and then we moved up here, and I thought it would be cool to promote this type of thing in, in the area. The Crossing decided they wanted to go ahead with and do this as a fundraiser. The initial idea was to do a fish or a walleye, because it was fishing for the area. And I said, well, we've got Paul and Babe, why don't we do a, you know, Babe the Blue Ox, because it's a ready-made icon for the area. Each business that at first rented then bought a Babe statue was able to paint their Babe however they'd like, which transitioned the Babe scavenger hunt into a showcase for some local artists in the Brainerd Lakes area. It was a good thing for the artist community. It was a big piece to have your name on and have it out there in public, you know, in, dis in display for everybody. So I, I think it was a really good thing for the artist community in the area. We had fun when we were designing it and actually uh, the artwork was done by Herm Johnson, who Herm actually designs helmets now, but at the time he's a two-time Indy 500 runner. Since the Ox draw in 2008, Local businesses that have put Bay the Blue Ox statues in front of their property have seen extra foot traffic from those looking to take their picture with Babe. You know, not as much anymore, but you'll still see people sitting on it taking pictures. Uh, you know, it was when they came to me to do it, I wasn't really, you know, I mean, I was interested, but we came up with the name Nitro Babe and uh, we had to do it from there. So makes people look here anyway that we get some attraction. I'm sure that they read our, our awning out there and say that it's the Minnesota School of Diving. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't even look over here. The Brainerd Welcome Center has handed out flyers to those interested in seeing those babes that remain. Just like the Snoopy statues in the Twin Cities, the babe statues have become an icon around the Brainerd Lakes area. There were originally 24, and the ones that remain live in Pine River, Pequot Lakes, Nisswa, Brainerd, and Baxter. When I'm looking out the window, I see people staring at the cow as they go by. I think especially the tourists that are going through. It's a cool thing. It's, it was, uh, I was very excited at the time and it was, it was a big project for me. But it's cool to see them out, out and about and they're still here after six years and most of them are in pretty good condition yet. Uh, I mean, they're fiberglass so they're meant to last. The next time you drive through the Brainerd Lakes area, check out the art that's tied into the folklore that makes this area great. Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.